out here on the Tuesday night skate. Woo! Made it all the way to the starting slash finish line. Usually I meet up with them, but um, oh, this guy's doing some nice stuff right there. So yeah, um, just having a super good night, and I guess the sexy beard convention's in town, and yeah, um, let's see. Um, topics I want to cover in this video is uh, why I do YouTube update on the job search and the algorithms. Okay, so uh, first off, let's just do a continuous stream of thought because I got the wind to my back, so this should be easy now. Um, so first thing, why do I do YouTube? Uh, I do YouTube to preserve memories for myself in the future. If other people want to watch it, good for them, but like... We're moving towards a singularity where you're like, you probably won't be able to hide that stuff. Like, think about the Borg. So, yeah, I just, I like to be an open book. And that's why I act the way I do, and I do what I do, and I just have fun, and uh, yeah. We'll see, ooh, posing, nice pictures. Um, so, basically, if somebody takes this the wrong way, then uh, I'm open to review it for contextualness. I'm willing to admit I was wrong, and all that fun stuff. So, uh, yeah. On to the job hunt. Alright, so this sucks finding jobs, alright? Just because you have to, like, talk to so many people, and I don't know. It's, uh, it's exhausting. So, basically just in the preliminary, like, recruiter talking to a face, haven't dealt with any of that. So, um, I'm really just, I guess I'm trying to play some small companies to get more comfortable with the interview process before I move on to the larger ones, even though, like... I already have a high degree of confidence when speaking about technical things, but I really want to do better. So, um, yeah, so just got to get more people, and oh my god, my arm gets so tired out here. Okay, look at that, better perspective. Um, so yeah, that is what's going on with that. So if you're a recruiter, holler at me. <laughs> um, otherwise, you know, you know. So... The algorithms. I really have been uh, enjoying just doing that stuff. One, being able to like think through it, because it's like a mental exercise, especially if I do it like first thing in the morning. So I'm finding that it's making me like better at my job just by doing all this stuff, which is surprising. But um, I suppose not really too surprising. <laughs> it's just like any other sort of exercise. It's just gonna make you a better person. So I, um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. But like I'm finding like the, the problems to be like super tedious. Like where like if I was working with somebody and they were doing that sort of shit, then like basically like uh, forming data that's just trash. Like like where like no like it's bad. Like sort of stuff like I don't know, it's just so bad where it takes so much to like grok what they're actually asking for. So um, basically I'm just like figuring it out along the way and yeah it's fun but realistically like if I rolled up into a spot and they gave me some data like that I would just be like what I would trash it and uh, justify like my uh, high hourly rate <laughs> so yeah that's a uh, that's where it's just kind of I don't know it is what it is He was trying to turn, but he was like just too shy. I don't know. Sometimes I get like that. So yeah, I'm actually enjoying the algorithm. So it's fun. It gives me like a way to vent about things <laughs> that are like less personal, like abstracting my own sort of uh, reality in a good way. Oh, where'd he go, man? Oh, that's a nice sunset. If you guys are enjoying the sunset talk tour. I'm doing a lot of this. Uh, 2019 summer uh, talk tours. Talk tours? Talking tours? <laughs> Walking talking tours? No, this is skating talking tour. Alright, so I guess go full circle uh, in the product wrap all. I'm gonna admit, I haven't done shit on this, okay? From a product development standpoint, like, I know, like, what it needs to be. I um, have the idea strong in my head. I can, like, visualize it at times, but. <coughs> I guess the next step would be like wireframing an MVP that basically just gets the information out and then from there the next step is going to be building the user system 
the authentication and uh, the uh, payments. Because from the start, I gotta try to make money. Ooh, they look good. That's nice. Woo! What's your SoundCloud? Plug your SoundCloud. Johnny Freeman on SoundCloud. All right. Who is Johnny Freeman on SoundCloud? Here, you gotta play one on. Oh, no, come on. I, I, I don't have anything to play. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so we gotta check out Johnny Freeman on SoundCloud, all right? We're gonna leave some comments there. And yeah, this guy right here, he's always out here with those bongos. He's like a, a NPC, I think. But um, yeah, so. Oh man, they're catching up. I gotta, I gotta keep going. Oh, we're almost to six minutes. Um, let's see. Um, so yeah, I owe you guys some wireframes for Rap Bell with basic functionality broken down, and then I'm gonna be able to deliver that tied into the user and payment processing system. All right, got this shit. So yeah, that's my update for the day. Um. I don't really, I don't have anything else. Works on good. Actually, like, the stuff that I asked to do, I'm being able to do, like, a lot of product. Involvement with product. So, you know, shape things and say, like, here, the work I do, small, but we can use that as MVP for free. Oh, man, that's loud. All right, let's, uh, let's do the fade out sunset. Oh, good.